the history of elk in the park is pretty interesting and it's a, and it's a kind of an important part of the ecological history and uh the key thing is that when settlers moved here the elk were hunted to extinction locally for meat basically they were market hunted and uh and that's that's not that surprising considering like elk are delicious people love hunting them and once they were once they were hunted to extinction um and there were no elk here uh at the same time uh wolves and grizzly bears were hunted to extinction and so once the elk were brought back from actually relocated from Yellowstone National Park their population exploded because instead of being regulated by hunting because we don't have hunting in this park it's illegal in the park and grizzly bears and wolves there was just nothing capping that population population exploded and pretty quickly the park was like oh my god we have way too many elk and in the starting in the 50s and 60s they started doing some population control so they were culling elk in the park they were capturing elk and relocating them to other places um but then in the late 60s the park service as a whole had a change in management paradigm so instead of being like oh we're going to we're going to be in the population of of ungulates and reducing them directly they're like let's let's sit back and let nature take its course and they called this natural regulation and that's like it's it's a i totally understand where they were coming from because that is we want ecosystems to be natural but we know we now know looking back that that was a pretty bad idea for our park cuz we didn't have predators didn't have hunting and that elk population once we stopped regulating them exploded and this is a long answer to go back to the part where we had too many elk and they were living in the park and they were like having these giant impacts on willow what happens when those impacts happen on willow what's the downstream effects of that of you know elk taking out these willow and and aspen right yeah so it's it's uh the big issue is that um they can outcompete with the key ecosystem engineer in these wetlands which is beaver and beaver depend on large stem willow large large aspen for food they eat it but like most importantly they use it to make dams and the dams like raise the water table cause water to spill over on the landscape and that essentially creates more willow habitat so um you can think of beavers as kind of willow farmers you know so they're like eating it but they're making more of it 